In this video, I'm gonna show you five major benefits of training your summer squash vertically. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Justin Lane and I've been managing my family's garden center business for the last 10 years. And I'm here to dispel the myth of a green thumb and prove that anyone can be a successful gardener. With that said, let's rock and roll. The first major benefit of staking your squash or zucchini plants is it saves space. Last year, I was only able to grow about four plants in this box. And as you can see this year, I've added another zucchini and squash for a total of six plants. And now I'm gonna get an even later harvest. The second major benefit of staking your squash plants is it gets it off of the ground. How many times have you walked out to your garden and realized that you had a rotted squash or a leaf that had turned yellow or had powdery mildew on it that needed to be trimmed off, but you couldn't see it for all the dense foliage. Getting this plant off of the ground allows you to see the maintenance that needs to be done. The third major benefit of getting your squash plants staked up is that it encourages air movement. You know, one of the biggest enemies to our summer squash is powdery mildew, especially the later into summer we get with that humid weather and you want to encourage as much air moving through these leaves as possible to keep it dry that way no fungus ignites the fourth major benefit of training your squash and zucchini plants up vertically is that it's easier to see the harvest squash and zucchini grow extremely fast and even missing one for a day could lead to an oversized fruit you want to keep your squash pulled off when they're very small That way you have an overall better tasting fruit and you don't have huge seeds. My fifth and favorite benefit of training your summer squash plants vertically is there's less places for harmful insects to hide. We're in the month of June now and it's already time to be on the lookout for squash bugs or squash borers. Squash borers usually like to lay an egg uh, somewhere along the main stem sometimes it can be on other stems it's a little tiny egg that you need to be doing daily inspections for that way you can remove it if you see it squash bugs lay their eggs on the top of your foliage and with ledge foliage to contend with the easier it is to spot for example come on in and i'll show you this is what squash bug eggs look like i was easily able to spot these because there wasn't so much foliage in the way and now I can do what needs to be done by either pulling this leaf off or spraying with neem oil or just hand removing the eggs and disposing of them. This zucchini and squash plant is at a really good stage to go ahead and start staking and there's a couple ways I really like to do it. The first way is with a tomato cage and you can easily uh, when they're small like this go up over the uh, plant and start to push down, not severing any stems or limbs. And then you just go ahead and push that down. The squash will then grow up through and then you can let the leaves go up over the sides. My favorite way to stake up your squash plant is just with a tomato stake. What we have here is a six foot oak stake. And if you come on in, I'm gonna show you that you need to place it maybe four or five inches from the main stem. That way you don't sever any roots. That's why it's good to do this when these plants are young. There's less chances of doing that. And what you wanna do is just go ahead and push it on in. And if you have harder ground, you might have to do a little hammering at the top to get it in there especially if you're in the south with this hard clay we have. That's why I love raised beds. And then what you're gonna do, they're gonna need a little help from you when they're growing up the stake because they're gonna wanna lean over. So all you do is take a nylon strip or maybe some kind of twist tie and tie very loosely. That way you leave room for the main stem to grow as the plant matures and then you'll just do multiple ones of these as it grows. There you go, folks. I hope you found a lot of value in this video and I encourage you at home to maybe try staking up a couple of your plants and see how you like it. I think you're going to be surprised. I've got a lot more gardening tip videos coming at you this summer and I don't want you to miss out. So if you haven't done so already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you won't miss out. Until next time, become a plant person.